Matt Dunlap, Secretary of State, State of Maine. But for the average guy in the street who is not an illegal immigrant, who's an American citizen, who has no criminal record, um, who lives in the town that they were born in, et cetera, you may ask still, what is the big deal? And for privacy advocates and the general public, it always boils down to that question. Why do I need to prove that I am not a criminal? You know, why do I need to show my papers? And it questions the fundamental building blocks of the republic, you know, which was you shouldn't have to show your papers. And I've been in countries where you do. You do have to show your papers on demand. And if you don't have them, you're automatically arrested and, and held until such time that you can satisfy the officials, the public officials, to your intentions, to your status. Um, and you don't have rights as an American citizen in another country. You're subject to their laws. And it's very, very uncomfortable. It's very frightening. It's disturbing. And I, I think that's why overwhelmingly uh, people in states like Maine don't trust initiatives like Real ID or the Western Hemisphere Travel Initiative. Uh, in fact, our legislature voted something like 174 to 3, uh, urging Congress to repeal Real ID. And these are not wallflowers. These are people who are very concerned about terrorism. Immigration has been debated very hotly in the main legislature. But overarching is the right of an American citizen to be left alone. And, um, you know, policy initiatives like Real ID preclude that. They preclude you from being left alone. They force you to be engaged uh, and engage in a very, uh, in, in a, yes, a transparent manner, but in an inquisitorial way that I think people have a a hard time with. It's, you know, it's akin to if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever, you know, going home every night and trying to prove that you haven't cheated on your, on your spouse or your significant other today. How do you prove that? You know, how, do, you know, how do I prove I'm an American citizen? I can't do it with a birth certificate because you know, those are public records, easily forged.